It's been eight months since I did the original consultation. So you made it. We made it, we made it, thank this God. Is like, this is like double mint gum. I know. Yo, <laughs> everybody does this. Oh God. You don't have a massive amount of fat to work with. So how much weight do you think I should gain? Yeah, yeah, I want it to be fat, nice and cheap. What's up guys, we're the CNG Twins, and today we did a consultation. It went great, I'm super excited for surgery. Pretty face, slim waist, thick ass. The twins came down in January, two months before their surgery, which was supposed to be scheduled for March. So of course we had to reschedule because of coronavirus. So. We've rescheduled four times, and finally they're back. Today is the day. There she is. Oh, nice. A little mask action, looking like the international woman of mystery. Yeah. I do Zoom conferences and consultations with all of my patients before surgery. The reason that we do that is that it allows patients to be in their room. I'm over here where I don't have to wear a mask so I can be myself a little bit more. And it means that patients don't have to spend as much time face-to-face -face with staff, and the staff members don't have to spend as much face-to-face -face time with patients. All of this for safety during the pandemic. Let's talk a little bit about the recovery because um, we didn't really talk about that fully last time, and we'll kind of go over it. And I know you've been through surgery before, but every person goes through each surgery a little bit differently. Even my own patients, if they have surgery with me a second time, uh, sometimes the second recovery is different. But everybody gets through it a little bit differently, so if something's different with your recovery from your sister's recovery, it does not mean that something is wrong. And now things are a little bit different. Siani's outside in a room by herself. Her sister is waiting in the car, waiting for her surgery time because she is second. Uh, and here I am in my cave, which they call the fat cave. What other questions do you have so far before I come over there? For like my incisions, are we gonna go through like my same incisions or are you gonna make new ones? So, we don't try to turn people into pin cushions. So I'm gonna try to use your same incisions wherever I can. If they're not in a good place or if they're in a place that's not gonna work, then I, I will make new incisions. All of the incisions that I put usually fit underneath where a bikini would be. Um, but if we've okay. got an incision that we can use, I'm not gonna just put another incision por gusto. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I get Yeah, because sometimes you see patients and they come in and they've got, you know, scars yeah. all over the place. So yeah, mm -hmm. we want to kind of minimize some of that. After we do the Zoom consultation, I see patients, we take pictures. I always like to take pictures the day of surgery because I really think that that's a way for me to focus on the patient's anatomy. And it's nice to be able to show the patient pictures that are taken right before surgery. That way they see exactly the way they look on the day of surgery. We do marks and then the last thing that we do is we talk about exactly what the patient wants to do. The way to think about which pictures is a way for us to communicate what things you like and yeah. don't like. It's not unfortunately picking off of a menu. Mm -hmm. So like, you see like the hips, like that's just what I like. I always like to take pictures of people's which pictures. Okay, so yeah. And like, I know my butt's not gonna be like this, but like. I think your butt's gonna look better than that. Cool, but that gives me an idea. I mean, you've got different bone structure yeah. than a lot of those patients, so you're mm -hmm. not going to quite have as much of yeah. the guitar mm -hmm. shape, but it gives me an idea of what you're really going for, which right. is round and full, but at the same time really focusing on trying to get as much curve as we can. Okay, yeah. Which I think is where we need to focus most of the attention, because we don't have unlimited time. Okay, perfect. So we finished the liposuction on the back and the arms. She looks great already. Much, much nicer contour here. Already has some definition between the hips and the buttocks, between the lower back and the buttocks. And I actually got a lot more fat than I thought she had. This is the equivalent of about 550 cc's per side. Now, that's not a huge volume compared to a lot of the fat transfers we do. But you have to remember, she's very petite. She already has a lot of volume and she's already had a fat transfer. So in a secondary fat transfer, we don't usually need as much volume as we need in a primary fat transfer. So I'm gonna start injecting and I think she's gonna look great. Run it up, 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 run it up
down to the last drop. This is the last six cc's. But everything and every little drop of fat makes a difference. Now, now it's perfect. I'm nervous, but more excited than nervous. Sometimes patients' priorities change in eight months. Oh, yeah, I just want it bigger, but I mean, you can add it. I mean, if you can, but my butt is my main concern. I want it to be fat, nice and juicy. Okay? <laughs>